Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, a new line of USB compatible audio interfaces from Focusrite. Let's get started. Focusrite's Claret family of audio interfaces for Thunderbolt protocol has been extremely popular. But now we have more options for those who want to use the Claret interfaces, and that's the Claret USB range. There are three members, the Claret 2 Pre USB, which I have here today, the Claret 4 Pre USB, and the Claret 8 Pre USB. These interfaces are all very similar. They all connect via USB 2.0 to a compatible computer, such as my MacBook Pro here. But they can also connect to a USB Type-C connector on a compatible computer, and in that case, you can bus power the interfaces. When you're using USB Type-A via USB 2.0, you'll need to use an external power supply, and one is included with the interface. The primary difference among the three Claret USB interfaces is the number of inputs and outputs. In the case of the Claret 2 Pre USB that I have here, we have a total of 10 possible inputs and up to 4 outputs. When we move to the Claret 4 Pre, we get up to 18 inputs and 8 outputs, and the Claret 8 Pre has 18 inputs and 20 outputs. The defining characteristic among the three members of the Claret USB family is the number of preamps. So for example, the Claret 2 Pre USB has two microphone level inputs right here on the front panel. Those inputs can also accept line level and instrument level signals, and you switch those levels using the Focusrite control app, which we'll take a look at in just a second. With the Claret 4 Pre USB, we have four mic level inputs, and with the Claret 8 Pre USB, we have eight mic level inputs. The Claret 2 Pre USB we have here today has four line level outputs, and those can be configured as two stereo pairs, so you could feed up to two sets of monitors and control those with the volume control on the front panel. We also have an ADAT level input, so we can have up to eight more channels coming into this unit using ADAT optical connectivity. Rounding out the back panel, we have MIDI input and output with support for up to 16 channels of input and output. On the front panel, we have gain controls for our preamps. We also have a monitor level control and a headphone level control as well. On the Claret 2 Pre USB, we have a single headphone output with its own volume control. On the Claret 4 Pre and the 8 Pre, we have two sets of headphone output and volume controls. The Claret USB range of audio interfaces can be controlled using the Focusrite control app that runs in your Mac or your Windows PC. And this gives you access to very low latency monitoring, so you can overdub into your DAW with no time delays associated at all. Let's take a look at that app. There are two main screens in Focusrite control. Device setting is where we set up the overall settings, as well as some switches for the input preamps. So we can set the sample rate from 44.1 kHz up to 192 kHz. Select our clock source, internal, SPDIF, or ADAT. And we can also set what the monitor volume level control actually controls. In this case, I have it set up for our monitors to be on outputs 1 and 2, but we could also have that level control control all four of the line level outputs, or we could have them all be strictly line level outputs with no volume control. Typically, you'll have this in 1 and 2 and connect your monitors to that set of outputs. There are two important settings on this screen for the preamps in the Claret 2 Pre USB. First of all, we can select line level or instrument level signal if we're not running a microphone in. When we change from line to instrument, you'll see an associated LED lights up for that channel, telling you what level of signal the unit is expecting. The preamps in the Claret USB audio interfaces have Focusrite's Air feature. Now, this feature is selectable here inside of our Focusrite control app. We can turn that on, and again, you'll see the LED light up and the corresponding channels on the interface. What Air does is recreate the tonality of the transformer that's in the high-end Focusrite ISA preamps, so you can impart that transformer coloration to the signals that are passing into the Claret USB interface. Switching over to the second screen in the Focusrite control app, this is our output routing screen. And here we can see our monitors, so we can set up what mix is feeding those. A custom mix would be using the input controls here, and this is where we can set up a latency-free mix as we're monitoring for overdubs. So we can set our hardware inputs and balance those against the software playback coming from your DAW. You can mute and solo each of those, pan them in the stereo field, and control the level. Now you can assign that custom mix to the monitor outputs 1 and 2, or to outputs 3 and 4, which also feed our headphones. But we can choose to have other sources feeding those outputs as well. So for example, we have two sets of stereo playback options from our DAW. We could route the hardware inputs directly back out of the outputs. And again, our custom mix is using the controls here inside the Focusrite control app. Now when we turn the volume control on the front of the unit, you can see that the slider moves correspondingly inside the Focusrite control app because of two-way communication between the devices. The same thing applies down here when we're talking about the headphones and outputs 3 and 4. We can have a custom mix. You can use playback from your DAW, one of two sets of stereo outputs. You can feed your hardware inputs directly back out, or again, a custom mix. And we have level control here. Or if you have it assigned in the other screen, you can use the volume control to adjust that as well. Finally, any monitor mixing that you're doing inside your computer using the Focusrite control application can be remote controlled using an iOS device and the Focusrite control app. 
It connects wirelessly when the two units are on the same wireless network, and then you can use your iPad, your iPhone to control the mix remotely. This allows you to record out in the studio, have access to the monitor mix, or to give your performers access to their own monitor mix while they're tracking. If you've been wanting to get into the Claret range of audio interfaces but didn't have a Thunderbolt computer, the Claret USB range is exactly what you've been waiting for. This allows you to hook up to a Mac or a PC. You can choose the number of inputs you want from the Claret 2 Pre USB all the way up to the Claret 8 Pre USB. You have the air feature on the input preamps. You also have monitor switching with two sets of outputs. Lots and lots of capability in these affordable but extremely high performance audio interfaces. Definitely want to check these out. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher.